Hello everyone and welcome back to your 11th C++ tutorial. Today I've got something quite exciting to show you. I'm going to be teaching you your very first C++ game programming tutorial. Now since it's the first tutorial it's not going to be anything really crazy but if you followed along with the previous tutorials it shouldn't be that difficult and you should learn something new and it will end up being a half decent game. It's not going to be anything like Call of Duty, but you'll be able to just move a character around the screen and eventually program it to do all different things. So, to start off with, now we've got that out of the way, we're going to need to start off by creating an include. And we're going to have to include Windows within double quotes, dot H. Now once you've done that, we need to create what's called a game loop. Now what this is, it's a loop that will check whether the game is still running or whether the user wants it to still be running. Now if this is true, what it's going to do is just loop the game constantly. And if it's false, it's going to exit out of the game and display a message and whatever. So to do this, we're going to create a variable and it's going to be a boolean. And uh, just, to just to remind you, booleans either contain true or false. So we're going to call it game running, and to start off with by default it's going to be true. So when they first start the game we want it to be running. So uh, to check whether it's running we're going to use a while loop. So while game running equals true, and you've got to make sure that this just here is a double equals, just there. And then make the body of this. And now we can start the programming. So uh, to start off within the game, one of the first things that you normally want to do in C++ is to clear the screen. And this is one of the built-in functions into the windows.h include, uh, include file. So to do this we type system and then within double quotes cls, which stands for clear screen. So um, now we've done that what we're going to do is create the uh, map, if you like, of what the game's going to look like. So we're going to use a technique that we used in the previous tutorial, a multi-dimensional array. And it's going to be storing characters. So if you remember back in one of the first tutorials, that's char, C-H-A-R. We're going to call it map. And it's going to be 10 rows and 20 columns. And if we build this like this, and it's going to have 20 across, well actually it's going to be 19, north through 19 is 20, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now we've got that first one, we're going to add a comma, and then within these we can just add the first one, we're going to have a space, and then like that. So now we can just keep dropping this down till we have nine of them. So ten minus one's nine because you include zero. So we've got one so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the ninth one's going to be like this one. So if we just copy this with control C and paste it down here with control V and just get rid of that last comma. So now we've got the map, we need to display it out on the screen. So we're going to do this within the main function. And we're going to do it with a for loop like we did in the previous tutorial. So we're going to create the for loop and the integer I'm going to call display because that's this is going to be displaying the map on the screen. It's going to be equal to zero and it's going to be um, display is less less than ten. This we're just going to display all of the rows out and they will include all of the columns as well. Uh, this might not make sense now but once uh, you see it on the page it should make a bit more sense. And then display plus plus. So what you want to do is see out display and uh, no sorry not, dis uh, not see out display we want to see out map and then display in the square brackets. So if we then end the line and now if we just build and run to see what this is going to look like. And we've got an error so let's just check what that is. And it's saying that this is too long. So one, two. OK, 
Okay, sorry about that, we just made all of these too long. We've made it 20 across instead of 19. So if we just get rid of one of these on all of them. Like that. Now if we build and run, hopefully that will clear up that ever. And as you can see, it's just flickering. And uh, this is because the game running is equal to true. So what it's going to be, it's going to be looping the display constantly. And we don't want this because the user is going to be seeing a flickering screen constantly and it's not a very nice thing to look at. So if we close out of this and just add a bit of code down here. And again, this is built into Windows.h. System. And then in double quotes, pause. And then uh, the greater than sign and null. And what this will do is it will pause the screen and null just means that it won't display a message. If we uh, get rid of the null, it will say press any key to continue. And we don't want that, we just want it to pause the screen. And that, uh, oops, has it done it? Sorry, that's because we did it outside of the while loop. It's got to do it inside here. And there, as you can see, it's paused it, and if we just press any key, it will uh, just keep looping through. So when we're eventually pressing a key to move a character around, it will be uh, waiting for us to press the key here. So actually, let's just add uh, a character to the screen. We're not going to do anything fancy. We just uh, I'm just going to use the at sign. You can use anything you like, but if you want to follow along, I'd recommend you do everything the same to prevent you getting confused later. But... Um, now we've done that and we haven't got a flickering screen we can continue with the code so to start off with we need to use a new function that we've never used before and this what this function will do is it will check whether a key is being pressed so what we're going to do is use the arrow keys to move our character around and to check whether an arrow key is being pressed we're going to use the if statement and to start off with I'm going to program the down key so to do this we use get a sync key state and as you can see it's here so if you just get that and press the tab key that will come up and this takes one parameter and for the down key it will be v k underscore and for the down key down so as you can see it's came up with all of the ones that begin with d so we've got the down key and then we can make the body of the if statement so get async key state is when you want to uh, detect if a key's been pressed and then within the parentheses for that you can have vk down for down or you could have that up, left or right. So now we've done that, uh, what we need to do is check whether there's a free space for it to move into. And so to do, I, uh, what I mean by that is if say the character is right down here, obviously it can't move down, there's no free space for it to move into. So if we don't code this next bit, it will just move out of the map and the game will freeze and crash. So what we need to do is, oh, and sorry, just before I continue, that's because it's moved outside the array. And so that's trying to make it 11 down instead of 10. And it will just confuse everything and it will crash and you'll get an error. So what we're going to do is create, actually, first of all, we need to create two integers up here. And then we're going to create one down there. We need the x and y coordinates. And within an array, this is going to be a bit different. If you say think of a map with x and y coordinates, uh, you're going to think of it like this. That's uh, x will be across here and y will be up there. It's sort of the other way around. x is across the top and y is going down. So that's going to be 1 for x and y is going to be 1. And that's because in C++ it camps from the top down from where we first created it. And I guess this sort of makes sense. It doesn't really in this context, but in uh, whenever else you want to use it, it would. For when you're displaying out the multidimensional array. So now down here we're going to create a variable called Y2. And this is going to check whether there's a space for the count to move into. And we're calling it Y2, not X2 because we're working on the y-axis or the rows down here. So if we set this equal to uh, y and plus 1, because we're going down here, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and they're ascending numbers, so it's going to be plus 1. So int y2 equals y plus 1. Now within this we're going to have another if statement. If 
y2 equals, and now this is going to be uh, going to have to be in single quotes. Actually, I'll do it in double quotes to start off with and just see if it works. I tried this earlier and it didn't, but if it does, then that's great. If I just um, just put a simple statement in here just to check whether it will work, and if I build this, we'll probably get an error. Yeah, you can see here we get an error that I don't really understand, send it between a pointer and integer. Um, if you just change it to single quotes, it sorts it out all right. And then if you build this again, see we get no errors. So, um, yeah, if we just get rid of this, as you can see, it has to be single quotes. So if you just uh, go along with that, it's not a major change, and it makes it work, so I'm not going to complain. So now we've got that, what we need to do is we need to move the character. And the way we're going to do this is change the space where it was, which is here, change it to a blank space, and then add the character here. So how we're going to do that is we're going to just type... Uh, so if there's a blank space for it to move into, we're going to say map, and then the coordinates that it was at. And this is a bit confusing, but you put Y before X, and I'll tell you why that is. In uh, multi-dimensional arrays, you put the rows before columns, and the Y is the rows in this case, and the X is the columns. So that's why you have to put Y before X. And so we're going to set the space where it was equal to a blank space. So if you put double quote, uh, single quote, sorry, and then a space in it. And then we're going to add 1 to y. And then the map y x equals the character, like that. So now if we build and run this, I should be able to show you that we can move down our character, which isn't working. So just, sorry, one minute. Okay, once again, sorry about that. I uh, We just said Y2, not the actual map coordinates. So the coordinates for that are Y2 and X. And now if we build and run this again. And uh, sorry, that was just a project from earlier. If we run this again, as you can see, we can move down and it won't let us move out of the uh, map or the multi-dimensional array. Now this uh, tutorial is starting to get quite long. So we're going to continue with this in the next video. But uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. There should be a couple of um, annotations up above for you to either subscribe or view the C++ playlist if you've missed any videos. And I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be continuing with this project in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.